guys, it's Tati Cook and I'm back for another video and as you see the title today, I'm here for y'all toxic asses. All my toxic queens and kings, you come to the right place. Also, if you hear anything in the background, as you guys know, I did move into an apartment building, so <laughs> a lot of my filming is contingent on hoping that everyone else is quiet and that never happens. So just if you hear stuff like that. So if you're watching this, you've probably been toxic. You think you may be toxic. Maybe somebody told you you're toxic. I don't know which one it is, but you're here for one reason and I, I see you, we see each other. This is something new to my channel. I think I'm gonna start making this like a series as well, just so I don't drown you guys in how to's. I know, I know, I know. All you guys want is how to's, how to's, how to's, how to's, but I don't wanna just like oversaturate them on my channel. So I'm gonna break them up with like five signs of this, 10 signs of this, like things like that. So welcome to the new series. Let's just get into this. But first, if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? We're gonna give you a couple seconds to do that. Did you do it? Good, now you can watch the video and welcome to our family. Also, follow me on my socials since we're gonna participate in polls, all that fun stuff, or whatever. Let's get into this. So, are you toxic? Like, this is like a, a questionnaire. So this is not just like in a relationship or a friendship or anything. Are you a toxic human being? My first sign is, number one, I'll probably number them up here. Number one sign that you're a toxic person is that you cannot be happy for other people. So if every time somebody else is telling you about something great that they've done or they've accomplished, maybe they got a job, maybe they got the boy, if you can't be happy for them, you're a toxic individual. And honestly, just a quick disclaimer, if you're just, if you're toxic now, that doesn't mean you're gonna be toxic forever, like there's no going back. No, but it's just, these are important things for you to look out for for yourself so you can identify them, change them, and be non-toxic, okay? Just like Drea said that wholeness can be deleted, toxic toxicity can be deleted kind of as long as you don't do too much damage but anyway that would definitely be a telltale sign to me if you cannot be happy for people when they're doing well if you feel like you're getting jealous at all if you're like why isn't that me that should be me or she's bragging if that's how you look at people speaking to you about their accomplishments especially people close to you whether that be a boyfriend a friend a family member you're being toxic okay sweetheart get it together two would be if you have a problem sharing so what i mean by that would be whether it's a boyfriend a friend whatever you can't take it when they're getting attention from somebody else that's toxic so let's say if, even if it was just like a guy friend that's like taking time away from like your time if you can't handle that if you can't handle somebody not giving their undevoted attention to you 25 8 you're toxic even if it's a friend if you see them with somebody else and you're like well, she's not as whatever as me. Well, you that's your bestie now. You're being toxic. You can't be their only source of love and attention. That's going to create a toxic relationship between you and a friend, you and a boyfriend, whatever it is. So you want to make sure you're allowing other people to pour their love and support and affection onto them as well. Affection not with the girls, baby. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, three would be if you're constantly picking fights. Again, significant other with another person. This is most like if you're trying to pick a fight, then this means you either, well, Typically, you're trying to be heard for whatever reason it is, but you, you don't need to be heard by at the expense of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be heard by causing an issue. You can be heard in other ways that are healthier and more positive. And if you feel like somebody's not hearing you, have that conversation. You don't need to pick a fight so you can be loud and you can voice your opinion. Everything doesn't have to be an argument. Or maybe you're just doing that because you want attention. Maybe your dude or your friend is not giving you enough attention. So you're like, I'm going to pick an argument because that forces them to respond to me and give me the attention that I'm so craving. Very very toxic if you're feeling like you're not getting enough from a friendship either pull back and make sure that you're not giving all the effort because that's probably what leads to a lot of disappointment honestly is when you feel like you're giving so much and you expect the same back you can't always expect what you're giving everybody's not gonna give you what you give them if you're feeling like somebody's not giving you attention or if it's your boyfriend maybe have that conversation and be like i feel like you don't really give time to me like that blah blah blah, blah. if you need more from something there's nothing wrong in saying that you need more you just need to be able to identify when you're doing the most the next sign to me that would show me that you are a toxic person right now is if you are the type of person that cannot problem solve, if you're instead throwing ultimatums, throwing threats, and things like that to get what you want. So for example, the type of girls that continuously throw out breaking up so that their boyfriend can give them the attention that they want or can act right, the friends that often do that, stop, stop communicating with you and ignore you and things like that, you're being toxic, that is so childish. You need to be able to effectively problem solve. Everything doesn't need to be 
like resolved like for example if somebody cheats on you and you don't want to solve that and it's just like see you later that's fine you don't have to communicate that because they made a decision that broke an agreement that you two made which was commitment but if a friend upsets you or disappoints you or your boyfriend disappoints you this can be a conversation everything doesn't have to be we're done that's it don't pack your stuff da -da 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 -da. it doesn't have to be that because you're only gonna hurt yourself and let me tell you why if you keep throwing out ultimatums and you keep throwing out threats that you're gonna leave and, da -da -da -da, and you never do it you're only showing him what he can do to you this is like a child if i keep saying i'm gonna send you to timeout and i never actually send him to timeout i'm just trying to scare him they're not dumb they're gonna figure out eventually i can get away with this because mommy isn't gonna send me to timeout for real they're gonna figure out very quickly that mommy only sends me to timeout when i do this mommy threatens timeout when i do this but she really not gonna do nothing so i'm gonna keep doing it that's what you're teaching your boyfriend or your friend or whoever you're showing them what you will accept it's like a joke at that point like if you keep telling somebody you're gonna break up with them and you never do it at one point i would just be like girl shut it up and then you're gonna be like what a good phrase for communicating when you can't really figure it out or you're just getting used to communicating effectively is something along the lines of when you did blank i felt like blank and in the future if you do blank i will feel like blank or actions like blank make me feel like blank a solution would be blank does that make sense everywhere i said blank you insert whatever situation you're going through whatever feelings etc that's a great way to communicate if you haven't been used to communicating you haven't been taught to communicate effectively that's a great way to just think about it in your head instead of being like you blah 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 and you da, 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 da. that's being toxic you're you're lashing out because you can't deal with your own emotions not cute the next thing that tells me that you are a toxic person is if you are manipulative for example if you're a guy it's happens all the time girls do this too but just typically if you're the type of guy that knows that your girlfriend really really loves you and like really want to make it really wants to make it work and you're going off of that to just do whatever you want to do you're toxic because if you know she wants to stay there and you're taking advantage of that you're trash if she wants to stay and you don't then go or if you're using somebody's weakness or their soft spot and you're poking at it to get what you want if somebody feels vulnerable enough with you to show you or tell you that soft side of them for you to then poke it to get what you want that's only going to come back on you i promise somebody will do the same thing to you as much as you think that you're invincible you're not so try to fix that if you want something like out of a relationship or out of something verbalize it be a big boy be a big girl you don't have to try to manipulate situations and finesse it out like those situations are more stressful anyway and they're not as genuine like you might be poking something and getting a response but it's not a genuine response you just hit a soft spot okay so i think i'm on sign six if i'm not mistaken let's just say six the sixth sign that you are somebody that is toxic right now is if you know for a fact that you are only going to somebody to use them for a certain purpose for example if you're a guy that keeps going to a girl only for Mm, you know what i'm talking about and you know she wants something more than that and she's made that clear you're being toxic because you're just utilizing the fact that she wants to be with you to get what you want if you're a friend that for example i've had plenty of these if you're a friend that knows that one of your friends is good at giving advice or is going to listen to you and things like that and you keep running to them for that but when it's roles reverse you can't do it and you're like mm, i'm busy don't feel like it you're toxic because you're not giving what you're getting and this doesn't mean that you're forced to give everybody what they give you because you didn't sign up for that. But if you keep using somebody for something and you're not even trying to give them that energy back, you're being toxic. Seven would be if you're the type of person, if you guys have heard the phrase hurt people hurt people, if you're that person where you've been hurt so you're trying to spew that out on other people or when the bullied become bullies, that's not cute. If somebody has done something to you or several people have hurt you in your life, your feelings are completely valid and it, it makes total sense to be hurt by that and to maybe mistrust people and things like that or to maybe, you know, feel some sense of jealousy when other people seem to have a happy life. But again, what I tell you guys all the time is you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. So the person that you're bullying could be going through the same thing that you went through at home and now you're making it even worse. So it's like spewing that hate out again is only going to come back to you full circle it's just going to keep circling circling and circling because you can't expect to get positivity out of life if you keep putting negativity out you can't expect to get positivity from people if you spew negativity onto people your best bet is to make sure you're dealing with your traumas and make sure that you're getting the help if you possibly can maybe utilizing a school counselor um whether that be in college high school middle school where whatever age you're at there are school counselors and they're there for that um if you can't get like a therapist or anything like that um um, 
there's so much self-help you can do there's so many self-help books there's just so much you can do to try to counteract what has been done to you and I don't want you guys spitting that out to other people because you're just making the world such a more miserable place. Another sign to me that you are toxic is if you are the type of person that like throws a fit or cuts people off and things like that if things don't go your way. So I understand that because you know you have expectations and you have ways that you like things to be done but just because other people have a different idea of that or just because other people don't meet up to that doesn't mean that you have the right to lash out that's just not it we're not toddlers we don't kick and scream when we don't get our way when we don't get that extra cookie okay so you just have to be like all right i didn't get my way damn that sucks next so you kind of just have to be able to check yourself in those moments. But yeah, that's like, <laughs> it's just not cute. So I think at this point we're on to our last two. If you are the type of person that is willing to step on other people to get what you want, you are toxic. It is lonely at the top sometimes and it's even lonelier when you stepped on everyone that cared about you to get there. So make sure you guys are embracing people that embrace you, supporting people that support you. That's an easier way and you'll have a lot more hands to lift you up and push you to the heights that you want to reach. And lastly, if you think you're toxic, you probably are. So if you feel yourself a lot of times allowing yourself to run off of emotion, if you feel yourself a lot of times feeling out of control, if you feel yourself not taking a second to breathe and think before you say things, like these are all, I'm kind of giving you guys like a spitfire round of like toxicity, but like, all of these things, if you feel all that stuff when you're responding to things, you are being toxic. You're not checking yourself. You need to have a level of self-awareness where you're like, oop, 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 I'm doing the most. Like you need to check yourself and reel it in if you are um, feeling any of those type of things. And if you've had that mind thought, you know, you've had that thought cross your mind and be like, ooh, is that my best work? Ooh, I feel like I'm doing a lot, but I don't care anyway. Being toxic, you need to check yourself. Being able to discipline yourself is everything. So you really won't grow unless you get to that point. So yeah, girl, get it together, sis. All right, so that was basically all 10. If you resonated with any of these, make sure you guys comment down below. But before I close this out, you know I have to give my shout out of the week. This week's shout out goes to Desiree Reader. Here is her picture. Thank you so much for saying I'm like a big sister to y'all. That is really how I feel. I love you guys so, so much. I appreciate your comment. I love you so, so much. And I will never change. All right, y'all, so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. You've got a lot to do. You better get to it. And I will see y'all in my next one.